Hi, I'm Shireen Rivera, the founder of Rising Above Publishing Services, and I'm here with California Scenes. I'm here with my ghostwriting client, Jeannie Walsh. Jeannie is a fashion stylist and a project manager. She's worked with many couture designers, so many amazing, incredible uh, creatives. And today we're on set for the photo shoot for her book cover. And we wanted to sit down and just talk a little bit about your book and the whole intention behind it because I know your story and your message um, and it's going to have some amazing impact. So Jeannie's book is titled Wired Wrong. And I just kind of want to start, start out and you tell people why you decided to title your book that, the story Thank you for behind being it. here, Shireen. I really appreciate this time with you. Um, there's an interesting story as to how I came up with the name Wired Wrong, and it has to do with um, my family. And my, my father never really accepted or uh, um, acknowledged that I have bipolar, so he would always refer to me as being wired wrong. And my intention here is to share my story and my experiences with having mental illness and um, and not be shame, not be shamed, ashamed of it, and to let people know that it's okay. You're not alone. There's other people out there. There's, there's, you know. And I would like to share my steps of what I took and how I've been able to be successful in the fashion industry, but also deal with, you know, having a mental breakdown or being hospitalized. Wow while being a mother on top of yes yes it's a combination of many things and it's and it's really difficult to find the balance and i the balance begins with starting with finding the right doctor that is absolutely without a doubt um, um, i definitely have to do a shout out to dr Kalik, who has been my doctor for over a, uh, a decade now um, i was his first patient here and he specializes in mental health um, uh, issues. So um, the right cocktail of medicines, the right support people, that's something I've had to learn through experience and, and it's something you as a mentor to me, I've learned that people that are throwing negative energy my way, it's not good, it's not healthy for my, uh, my mental health and to find balance with that. Sometimes even though it's not easy, we have to let go of the ones, even though we may not want to, they're just not good for the balance of our mental health. And especially if they don't understand it, or most people don't, don't take the time to try to understand or even um, read about it. And um, actually, when I met my husband, he was one of the first relationships I was in. Um, I've had a very tough life, and he has taken, him and his daughter took a lot of time to research and understand what bipolar was about. And it's not easy. Every day is a challenge and it's never going to end. And it's a vicious cycle. But if you learn to control it and not let it control you and take a hold of it and take those right steps, then you're, uh, that's the first step in the right direction. Are you ready? I'm ready. Interviewing Colleen Quinn, a couture fashion designer. We are here on set for the photo shoot for my client, Jeannie Walsh. She is doing a photo shoot for her book cover for her upcoming book titled Wired Wrong. And today I wanted to talk a little bit with Colleen. First of all, thank you for being here with us, Colleen. I love our energy together when we're all three together in the same room. And I wanted you just to share a little bit about yourself and how you met Jeannie. Hello, everyone. I'm Colleen Quinn, and I'm a couturier and an artist. And, um, you know, my life is about art, and I... I feel like every step that I take is, is artful and soulful, and I'm very spiritual at the same time. So um, it was such a pleasure to meet, you know, Jeannie is like, has this magnetism to her. Um, and I felt so drawn to her in a way that we both connected so clearly because of our compassion for each other, our sincerity. Um, and we had this kind of, we have this pure heart together, and we are almost like playmates or like children together. 
I think that's the reason why. So when I first met Jeannie, um, it was just such a pleasure because she was helping me with my photo shoot, too, that was happening. So it all was connected, and we were in sync. Like, everything that we talked about, um, somehow we had this kindred spirit of understanding each other without even speaking. That's what you call your soul tribe. <laughs> I know. And so, as you know, um, Jeannie Walsh, her book is going to be about not only being in the fashion industry, but also being able to create um, a portfolio for herself, a name for herself in the industry um, while battling behind scenes a mental illness. And the whole point of the book is de to destigmatize that. And I wanted to ask you, um, when did you find out that Jeannie was battling this behind scenes by herself? And um, any, how did you see her struggle with it? And how was she able to leave it at the door when she came to work on a project? And that's a really interesting and sincere kind of question because um, I actually didn't even know um, the state that Jeannie was in because I kind of get that way too. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. So, so we're so in sync in some way. And I was going, oh, well, you know, she's like a sister to me. So I, it's like, I totally understand Jeannie. I feel that way too at times, you know? So in some ways I didn't, I wasn't even um, putting a label on her in any ways or any kind of like, um, this is what she is. Because actually I feel like, I feel like sometimes I have that as well. Yeah. And I, but I was never actually, um, you know, told or anything like that you know or even researched that so um so when you know like anxieties may come up and we all have that because in the fashion world it's just so um I don't know we're challenged by so many different types of people and diversity and just trying to pressure and then we need to just get our intention done our goals done you know we need to get our project done and in a harmonious way so me and her have the same spirit so um you know, of course, when we were working on Sennheiser, it was so wonderful, but it was very stressful, and she had a lot to carry on, and um, as well as me. So again, I'm not sure, you know, like she didn't even really tell me anything until maybe later. I think it was like a couple months later that she said, well, I have bipolar. And I go, oh, is that what that's called? Because it's almost like, wait, maybe I might have it too, because I go to the extremes of being like really super focused, no one gets in my way, and I get the job done. And then at the end, I crash. And then I go into this kind of dark side, or I go into sleep, you know. And she does the same thing, and we were just agreeing on it. So I think that's how it was kind of an understood statement, but we understood each other. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And... The other thing I wanted to say was, I think this is just something that people, a lot of people experience, but nobody speaks about it. And or it's kind of like, oh, there's a weakness to us yeah. in a way that, but no, actually, you know, I love having this extreme. Um, that's how I become a really good artist is because I get super focused. Yeah. It sets me in the mood where like, don't mess. I'm just going to bulldoze my way and I get it done. Yeah. And she's the same way. We kind of block everything out, all the externals, and we go into our internal world. And if that is called bipolar, then I'm saying that's really cool because that's the way I work, and that's the way I get so much accomplished. And it's also out of perfection and out of passion. You know, we just don't do anything just to do it. We do it because we honor it, we have dignity, and we have truth, and we love what we do. Thing that her book really uh, points out is the importance when you have this to have a creative channel, to have a channel where you can put that energy into because when you don't have that channel or that outlet, it can become self-destructive, you know? And so that's why a lot of creators do, can't, I think, resonate with her story. But I guess, you know, because we're, we're both optimistic and we see there's hope to things, like, you know, even though we might be in the darkest waters, but we find some kind of hope and light that comes yeah. out of it. And then we just, you know, we just go for the light. Um, so I think we remind each other or we confirm and we, we actually support each other because we can talk about it and go, oh, wow, like, oh, you're not, I'm not alone and you're not alone and we felt the same way. Thank you. You know, it's just so, because we have to keep on moving on. We can't just be like dwelling in the past too. We got to keep on moving and we got to keep on um, trying to um, 
you know, get out of that state too. Yeah. So um, definitely we push through it. And of course, fashion kind of pulls us together, me and her. And, you know, we're just like in heaven or something. So it puts us in a wonderful state actually. And it's very healing. I love that because I think that it's very important, um, especially when you have so uh, much responsibility and a lot on your plate to surround yourself with people that not only understand you, but that bring that positive energy. Because when you do get in that dark place, you need to have that around you in order to bring you up, you know? I know. And so I want to thank you for being here with me. I'm so happy to see you again and be in your presence again. And thank you so much, Colleen. with Che Charles. It's a tongue twister. <laughs> and we're here on set for the photo shoot for Jeannie Walsh. And she's my client. She's doing a photo shoot for her book cover. It's very exciting. And first, before I ask you anything, tell us a little bit about yourself and then how you met Jeannie. Um, so uh, I've been... Oh. <laughs> Um, so I moved over to America about three years ago. I'm a European artistic stylist, um, color technician, cutting technician, hair up, on the scenes, catwalk, all, all of the above. Um, and then I moved over for love. And um, I met Jeannie through a mutual friend in the salon. And that's our friendship blossomed from being client to friend. And you've been, you've known her since the beginning of her. Well, no, no, no. I've known, I've known, she's known me since the beginning of my career here in America. Um, so um, we, we've become more personal friends as the, as the client relationship grew. So as you know, Jeannie's book is titled Wired Wrong, and there's a reason why she's titling it Wired Wrong, um, but the whole purpose of the book is to destigmatize um, people's view on mental illness, and um, it's, she has a really powerful story of how she struggled with a mental illness while creating a career for herself in the pa pa fashion industry, and I just wanted to know um, your insight, what does that mean for you to be part of this project? Um, through my life and 20 years in this career and um, working with all the people that I've worked with, mental health is a normal day-to-day -day life. And anybody that hasn't got any issues at some point in their life of mental health, then I don't believe them. <laughs> so I think that this book is, it, it means a great deal to um, open up that door that it's okay and there is no such thing as normal. Like, it's, we can all ask for help, and we can all have our down days. And especially in the arts as well, I think the creative mind, what I found is that the creative mind is so full that we need somewhere to put it, and we don't know where to put it. And Jeannie being the creative person that she is, is just tapping into that side, that, or Jeannie um, to tap into that segment where it's the fashion industry that it's okay, it's okay to have these, these what we call issues, exactly. and um, it's just a way of life. So I'm so excited for this book, and I'm so, I'm so proud to be a part of this as well for her, that it, this is a moving forward, this is a great thing. So I love her to pieces. Because, and that's something that we write about in the book, is that we all have mental health. Right, um, it's still a, if you're not dealing with your mental health, that's still a decision on you dealing on how you're dealing with it. And so I think it's you know such a step of courage that she's taking to open up and be vulnerable with everybody in order to strip away the shame attached to dealing with your mental health. <laughs> so thank you for being here with me. I really appreciate you taking some time out of your schedule, and we will continue this. Thank you. Sitting down now with Nancy McDonald, 
and Nancy has known my client Jeannie Walsh for many years. I first want to thank you for taking some time out to sit and talk with me. Can you share with us um, a little bit about what you do and then how did you meet Jeannie? Well, thank you for uh, inviting me and I really appreciate being here. And I met Jeannie um, at a Sennheiser event where Colleen did a experiential live experience where she created a gown and she then drew on it um, at a whole event with a playlist of uh, her favorite inspiring music. And um, ever since then, Jeannie and I have just gotten along. We, I think, had this kismet energy and um, we've always um, felt a sisterhood. And she's then uh, started coming and collaborating with us at Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising. She assisted in coming and checking out our uh, portfolio day for our graduating students, put her input into it. And um, I've always been a fan of Jeannie. So as you know, um, we're here doing the photo shoot for her book cover, and the title of her book is uh, Wired Wrong, and it, it's titled that for a reason, but the whole intent of the book is to destigmatize mental health, especially in the fashion industry. And I just wanted to ask you what your take on that was and your experiences. You make such a good point. My company's name is Rising Above, and the motto for my company is that sharing is an integral part of healing because I truly believe that it just takes one person to take a step of courage and own their story and who they are to help other people do the same. You know, and I think and from what I've heard, um, Jeannie and her stories, there's so many people in the fashion industry that have to portray this facade, you know, and cover up who they really are. And um, it's really important that everybody just be authentic and genuine and not feel shame. So I want to thank you for sitting here with me and taking some time. And I look forward to um, getting to know you more. Thank you. Yes, thank you. And we will be back. And I'm sitting here with Michelle Alameda. I want to thank you. She's a stylist. I want to thank you for taking time out to talk with me. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and then how you know Jeannie? So, um, yes. So I am a stylist and the name of my company is Beyond Image Group. And I got the pleasure of meeting Jeannie and at the Fashion Institute. Um, I think um, we're a big circle, Colleen, Nancy and myself. And um, when she was looking to do the shoot, we reconnected because I hadn't seen her since the pandemic. And she told me all about what she was doing with her book and I just wanted to be a part and help her. She is such an amazing soul. So that's why I'm here. Just whatever I can do to help Jeannie. She is so amazing. She is a stylist herself, so it's really hard to work with somebody when that's what they do. Um, but she is super amazing, and I was just jumping on the board just to see if I could be a part of today or any. And so, as you know, we're here at, um, for the photo shoot for her book cover titled Wired Wrong. And her book, were, the intent of it is to destigmatize mental health, especially in the fashion industry. And I wanted to ask you what your experiences have been with that and what are your thoughts on that? I'm glad you asked because I think the last couple of years we've all kind of looked in, you know, in ourselves and I didn't realize how much anxiety I had, how much I <clears throat> could relate to her story. So <clears throat>